Imperial armor, black hair with gray stripes and a fancy mustache. You surely won't miss him. Fair enough. What is it with sending him to meet the Moth? We'll try to negotiate something first. Won't want too many kids to die in a needless bloodbath, would we? Think of it as a peace offering. The last time you two went on a quest, it didn't go so well, did it? Well, you will never know if you never try. Welcome to Arby's, sir. Serving the finest burgers for the Empire. I would like to speak to the head of this facility. Sir, if you have a complaint, I could redirect you to our customer service mailbox. I would like to meet him face to face. Alone, preferably. I am sorry, sir. That is something way above my pay grade. I believe I am talking to him right now. We have nothing to discuss, Jedi. This is purely a business between Mandalorians and Imperials. But the matter does concern a friend of mine. And he is Mandalorian. Is he really? Or is he a dog who follows you on your leash because he is afraid of who you are? He has no reason to fear me. You do, if you do not cease your activities against them. Or you will tear this facility apart with your lightsaber and powers. How very Jedi-like. You know I have a very good reason to. The same way you tore apart the very people you are now trying to help. What good would that do? Except remind the people that the Jedi are really the brutal monsters the Empire has shown them to be. The Empire's reign of terror is over. The Republic has been reborn. Your senseless propaganda will be erased from history. You don't really believe the Republic could take over the reins of power so easily, do you? There are Imperial sympathizers in every level of governance. They will be more than willing to see you burn this facility down and paint this Imperial remnant as martyrs for a greater cause. What cause would there be for you? Except a dying power grasping on so desperately to the few planets you have under your control. See, I don't think you understand your situation, Jedi. Your kind has been rarely seen in the galaxy. The people only associate your lightsaber with the Empire. And as you were once a Sith Lord, they will see you as a monster. I believe you won't want such sensitive information to be out there in the public, would you? Once the public learns that you have been experimenting on little helpless children to create weapons of mass destruction, they will see your annihilation as a just cause, Imperial. I see that you are quick to be ruthless. Good. Republic Senator Leia Organa is an offspring of Lord Vader. I wonder what would guarantee the Republic's support if she was voted out of office. I believe the Senator would do what she does best, be a rebel. It was also in her father's nature. But you won't be able to afford that uncertainty, if you wish the best for your Mandalorian associates, will you? Perhaps not. But neither can you afford to lose your only chance at developing a wonder weapon. Certainly. The child is yours to keep. I merely require sufficient blood samples for my scientists to run the tests. Do this, and I may also consider offering a truce with the Mandalorian leaders and vacating their planet. That offer would suffice for now. But know that if you threaten my friends, I will bring down the thunder on you. You are, after all, a mere man in an armored suit, facing a master of the Force. And know that I can easily make life difficult for you and your associates, Master Jedi. 